Welcome back to another edition of Unsanctioned Fabrication. Today we're going to play with a bead roller. So I had this guy sitting around in my shop. It's been here for 50 years. Now, only problem is I have no dies for this. No rollers, no dies, nothing. So when I looked up prices for dies on this, they were $80 to $160 per set. That's quite expensive. So guess what I did? We went straight Harbor Freight. And what we're going to do is, I haven't even unboxed this thing yet, so I haven't even seen it. But we're going to do an angle iron reinforcing frame like this. A lot of guys do tubing, but I want angle iron so I could actually do more cylinders in uh, larger pieces. So let's get this thing opened up and check it out. All right, so check it out. Basically, these are just steel blocks. I highly doubt they have uh, brass bushings in them. So we'll definitely have to keep this thing oiled. It's not a fast rotation, so it shouldn't be building up that much uh, heat. But just keep in mind, let's oil those. Now, this, I noticed, uh, they didn't even tighten half these things up, so I'm gonna have to go over everything, just check all that. But I, what I did notice was there's a lot of flexing between here. So that's what we're gonna have to improve upon. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's just going to be goofy. So let's get this thing reinforced and go from there. So more than I'm thinking about it, I think I actually want to run a square tubing here. And I'll still run those angle irons. We'll run some nice, what, 2x2 two two or 3 if I, I'll see if I can fit 3x3s three three on here. And we'll get that welded in. That will definitely help, uh, you know, prevent this thing from twisting. So let's get that thing going. Oh shit, did I not record? <laughs> you recording all time? Alright guys, so I got my frame all welded up. I welded it solid all the way around. Now what most guys aren't doing is they're not welding these things around and I could actually bet on that one. Just because they slap it on here and just figure they stitch it up and that's good enough. But this reinforcing frame is all the strength. What we're trying to prevent is a torsional twist. Now this guy actually pulled slightly out of whack as I welded it. So right now I just had to straighten it back down again just to get it back level. Now that it's level, we're gonna get it welded onto the actual frame itself. Here we go. The part's all welded up, gave it a shot of paint, just that nice hammer finish stuff from Rust-Oleum. I uh, ran a couple sample pieces through right now and I uh, found that the rollers were pretty sharp. So it was actually leaving a lot of bad burrs on here. But I actually purchased it just so I could do offsets like this. It actually does pretty nice. And not bad at all. Very fast. Now, I did want to mention to show that this thing is rock solid. Before I was actually able to bend this thing apart with two fingers. But yeah, she's nice, stock solid. I have no issues with this. I just rolled through 18 gauge stainless steel, no problem whatsoever. But uh, here, we'll show you how it operates fast. So there it is. Other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. If this was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Later.